Some ex-forces personnel hit a wall when they're looking for a career after the forces. Barney Barnett joined the Marines at 16 and he loved his time in service. He's now in a fulfilling career in demolition, but it wasn't easy for him when he first left the military. Being medically discharged from the only job he had known caught him by surprise. It was like somebody had just blindsided me um, from being in the Marines since 16 to then being told, OK, you've got three months to get your life in order. Um, it, it, it's so hard to describe it. It's like, um, what is your, your greatest thing, what you've ever done, and now suddenly you've had it taken away from you. Um, it, it, emotionally, physically, uh, it, one of the most stressful times of my life. Barney turned to RFEA, the Forces Employment Charity, which helps veterans use their skills to embark on meaningful careers. The charity helps veterans with CV writing, interview technique and training, as well as matching them up with suitable jobs. I think all service leavers leave the Forces with attributes and a certain skill set and, and can provide added value to most employers. And the employers that we work with now obviously recognise that. Um, and that's why we generated 70,000 jobs last year. It's about them gaining sustainable employment, not just ad hoc jobs here and there. It's about supporting them for the rest of their careers. With a proactive approach and some support from RFEA, Barney's now happy in his job as a project manager. He thinks more veterans should follow suit in getting guidance into civilian work. They're there to support you and give you that little hug and say everything's going to be all right. And, uh, and, and, and like you say, um, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for them. Never be too proud to, to just ask for help. And the sooner you do it, the sooner you'll be able to um, alleviate the problem and hopefully get back into employment.